how's it all going with this wonderful project of yours? Well, <laughs> Bob's head is still attached to his body, which is a good thing. Well done, Bob. Well done. It was spinning at 360 for quite a while there. It okay. was. We we got some excellent help from a friend, Kevin. On Friday, we were struggling with the issue that all of our photos are um, Apple and that they're typically the live photos and putting them onto an yep. HP computer to get it on their website is uh, really difficult. So we've got a lot of tweaking we want to do yet. Um, but, but it's we, up there with all the pertinent there. information. <laughs> and we're really, really interested on uh, um, the people that look at it and want to reach out to us on our um, uh, Bob and Viv at Portugal Pathfinders email. Um, we're interested in in what questions this leaves as to what we're doing. You know, mm -hmm. we we want to be able to communicate well uh, the concept and the concepts born out of the fact that we see people leaving. Uh, come take a take a view of uh, of where you want to live before you do it, uh, James. If you aren't heart called, we we've, we've often talked that those of us that literally it was in our hearts, mm -hmm. it didn't matter what we found. Yeah. But if it's if it's if you're in doubt, check it out. Woo. Hey, <laughs> so that's that's I see what you did there. So it, that needs to be on here somewhere. It <laughs> does. Yeah, check it out. And you make a distinction there, a, a good one. Heart called. Um, so there is a there is a little distinction here, isn't there, between heart yes. called and mind called, perhaps yes. to Portugal. Yeah. There, the, well, and that's where we've seen the people that end up uh, deciding it's not for me. Right. After they sell everything they own and spend all the money and the time and the effort to get here, mm -hmm. I can't imagine what would make us go back. I I can't imagine what would make it worth it to us to go through all this and then go back. Yeah. And yeah. I well, some people use them. checklists and they go, all the boxes are ticked, so it's right. for me. But they it's they not. they don't approach it. How does it feel to be here? It's like, right. well, all the boxes are ticked. It's got to work. Yeah. So yeah. I think the best decisions are always when we use mind and heart to make right. those big decisions. Always. Yeah. But mm -hmm. if we're going to use one, I'm going to the heart. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm going to depend on one source of, of information for me. Yes. Yeah. It's funny. When, when I was in Caldash, on, I think it was on Friday lunchtime of last week, I saw a tattoo on, you know how, how you uh, glimpse tattoos these days? Back in the day, uh, I knew I knew where I stood. There we go, look. <laughs> He's like a salty oh, sailor. When, when my mum and dad had a pub, and there was a pretty rum old clientele at the pub, the, the men had tattoos, and they didn't hide them on their calf or under their mm -hmm. armpit or behind their earlobe. Their tattoos were right there. The naked lady yeah. was on the forearm, wasn't yeah. she? Mm -hmm. And um, nowadays, you get a little glimpse of a tattoo, don't you? Mm -hmm. And I saw one on the back of somebody's uh, back of a bicep. So the, the girl was sitting uh, in front of me, looking away, and I saw a little line drawn tattoo of a heart and a brain holding hands. And I thought, oh, younger, that's good. Yeah, and a younger generation got it all under control. They're understanding yeah. the, the, the importance of putting the two together. And I have to say, I'm with you, James. If you've got to make a choice, and that may be because we live in a very rational age, you know, and we've yes. maybe forgotten a little bit about our intuition and, mm -hmm. and how we listen to our hearts. So mm -hmm. how about that? Is that part of this course or could it be actually helping people listen to their hearts more? Do you do, you do that? Yes. As part? You, you do? Yes. Yes. Okay. Just ask, how does it feel? Yeah. In yeah. your body, how does Absolutely. it feel? Absolutely. How does yeah. it make you feel? Yeah. yeah. Well, I like this. I like that. I like this. And this works. And oh, they've got hospitals. Like, well, how does it feel? Mm. Are you yeah, trying to make really me cry? feeling it? Are you trying to make me cry, James? <laughs> <laughs> yes, very good. Very even good. if I wanted to, no. <laughs> well, I could influence you to cry, though. <laughs> I know you can, and you've done it. Um, well, the Portugal Pathfinders. Sorry, yeah, James. Well, there's a there's another aspect of it too that we realized as we started putting the questions together. Um, as, as everybody here pretty much knows, we originally were going to do cross country tours and we settled on this for now, uh, just because it's easier to get going. But, um, this also, the, the concept we put together here will also work very well for somebody who knew they needed to be here. They are here. They were heart drawn. 
they came even though their spot may be not be their forever spot. Yep. This is also perfect for somebody that wants to look around a different area, have a landing spot, and um, take a few few days. And and the beauty of this is it's totally customizable to um, their interests. Yeah, whatever, yeah. whatever their desires, interest they're their coming interest, with. Yes. Yeah. So uh, so it also works for people in country that have never been up here. Uh, if they just want to come up and see it with no thoughts of, is this where I want to be? That's fine too. We're glad to take them around. We've been doing it ever since we got here. So. Of course you have. Of course you have. Yeah. All right. Well, let's have a look at one of those itineraries then that, uh, that you've got here or the, or the, or the itinerary that you're, um, you're starting with here. Uh, mm -hmm. Magic of the Mina. That's lovely, isn't it? Day one arrival and orientation and a classic Portuguese building there. I'm with you there already. Look at that. That looks fantastic. Mm -hmm. And smell the coffee. Uh, upon arrival at the Porto Airport, your host Bob and Viv will meet you on the drive back to Ponte Lima. We can all get more acquainted. Once here, you can settle into our welcoming guest apartment. Oh, I'm loving this. Uh, depending on your energy level, you can simply relax and recover, or we can share our personal journey and answer your questions. You can also learn. We can also learn your story and expectations on your mission. This evening will set the tone for the rest of the stay. That's very thoughtful because, of course, some people when they fly. Mm -hmm. are ready to go out aren't they they like they have a shower and they want to hit the town mm -hmm. others need, others need to sleep for a day so you right. you're, you're covering all bases here yes. but... yeah yeah talk us through this one then um explore experience enjoy what happens on day two well we just want to find out number one what their interest is do you, are, are you interested in the coast are you interested in the interior uh, villages larger cities we're not going to do uh, big CD tours because there are professionals that do that, yes. that, you know, uh, mm -hmm. Portuguese uh, natives who live there, grew up there, speak the English. So so we're not going to do the big city tours, but we, we want to be able to give them an overview and uh, based on their interests. And one of the uh, nice things about where we live is that the uh, Spain is 40 minutes, the coast is 30 minutes, and the mountains are 40 minutes. And so in between, you get a whole lot of feel for what the area is like and uh, can stop in any number of uh, places to, like James says, get that feel. What's, what's, what's it like for you? So, so day two is the, is the drive around uh, stop based on your interests. And, uh, we'll take them to cafes. We'll take them to where whatever part of the menu they want to see or they think they want to see because they're going to want to see more of it. But um, that'll be kind of the sightseeing ease them into a day. Yeah, excellent. And two countries for the price of one. They, they'll, they'll be able to say they've been to Spain, yes. but they already yes. looked at it. Um, at the moment, actually, Solar Pete is saying uh, an important reminder for everyone due to the visit of the Pope. They are. Uh, for yes. the first time, I th I mean, is it mm -hmm. the first time? Anyway, they, they are doing it now, Pete, checking yeah. all those entering and exiting Portugal via Spain. So you folks yeah. who live close to Spain, remember to keep your documents with you because they are we being will. checked. You can Good get into, into quite an easy habit, can't you, of popping back and forth across the border. But, of course, yeah. you could get checked at any any time, couldn't you? So it's worth yeah. carrying them. Yeah. Okay, there you go. So um, that's day two, explore, experience, enjoy. Then we, I recognize that building. We are uh, mm -hmm. a day in the life, day three, the immigrant insights and practical Portugal. So, are we getting a little bit more serious at this point? Yes, we? we're getting more serious. We're going to show them grocery stores and pharmacias, talk to them about the healthcare system. We want them to get these rainbows and unicorns out of their eyes and replace it with real information so yeah. that no one is surprised by anything yeah. as far as we can <laughs> yeah. cover it. Yes. Um, and and let them know that th this is not where like where you came from. It's not going to be. You can't make it. So either get over that or don't come. Yeah. That's People don't give you, that's smile great. at you and give you money every day. <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm leaving. Right. Okay. Uh, waiting for that. I'm still waiting for that. But Jane said something about this earlier on. The, it's the coding of things, isn't it? This means yeah. this in my culture. Yes. Come yes. over here. There's graffiti over things. Yeah, the, account, the accountants work in a different way. You've got to be ready for that, and I suspect this is what you're saying on day three, isn't it? Yes, yeah. we, we want them to know all this. Yes. Well, and, yeah. and one of the crazy things, just because I'm the 
uh, I'm not a computer geek, but when it comes to building con construction and heating and cooling and electricity and how it works, yes. one, one of the stops on the tour will be our attic where when you open the, the side <laughs> under the knee wall, you can see daylight. Yeah, you know? all around us. This, this, you know, <laughs> that's not normal in the U.S. It's like, what? <laughs> but that's the way that's the way these houses breathe. Yeah, is we don't have, mold. you know, yeah, so. So, so it's, it's, uh, and we will show them pictures of the wall that was green outside exterior wall, but it was green before we washed it. Mm -hmm. And on both sides of the green was black. We, we want to show them that our boiler that heats the house is in a room 30 feet outside the house. I mean, things that we want to accentuate the fact that they are different. It's not good bad thing it's just it's just different it is different here well, and you need to be aware of that we've connected with uh, uh john and pam that that uh, we might be able to see their new build mm -hmm. because one of the things we're in conversations with people is if if you aren't adaptable from a uh, heating and cooling and wiring and sound et cetera, et cetera, et cetera get a new build yeah and then yeah. you can have it the way you want it right and so we just that's part of the larger perspective we want to give folks of this this is what it's really like here and yes um we have a picture of us in february this this got this a uh, heavy sweater under a real big really fluffy big fleece, robe. fleece robe with a fur collar <laughs> and i've got a sweatshirt underneath a fleeced hooded sweatshirt standing in our kitchen smiling because yes. it was yeah. what well, what this winter it got down to what 14 12 12 14 yeah. in the house when we were getting up you know it was, so, yeah. it, it was only at seven o'clock in the morning though yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was when you first got out of bed it was cold <laughs> i'm getting uh memories of the old wizard of oz film when dorothy says to toto i don't think we're in kansas anymore <laughs> We said that a lot. Like, we're not in Kansas anymore. Yes. <laughs> but Excellent. but our smiles were as genuine as they are here with, with and Charlie and Michelle. Okay. It was yeah. fine. It, it was, was okay. just it was just adapt and the uh space heater hadn't warmed up the space yet. That's yeah. all it was, you know. Yeah. Uh, well, Viv, did you have to to um negotiate with Bob here? Because I, I know that Bob wants to take people into the attic. He wants to show them a, a stucco wall. He wants to show them an electric point. Did you have to kind of, you know, like adjust that a little bit? Enough, enough on the home improvements, Bob. Let's <laughs> yeah, look at the view like, for a minute. Like, Honey, some people don't care about this. So people don't even know what they're looking at. <laughs> yeah. It's very really important reason to show it. Yeah, some people so, won't think of it, then yeah, it'll so be important in their life. I think you should show it. It's It's important for them to know that their house isn't going to fall down. If they can see blue sky yeah. through their roof, it's okay. But it's important to know it's not insulated. Yes, too. it I'm is. Yeah, you're right. I'm, I'm yeah. just having a bit of fun with you. I think it's absolutely mm -hmm. right. I, yeah. I, you know, people need to learn that the green and blacks is not a chocolate here. It's the, it's a kind of mold. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, it's, chocolate. Yes. it's chocolate as well because you. It's can a natural it. insulator. Yes. <laughs> very, yeah. That's another nice reframe this morning. <laughs> now, yes. This poor fella here. Uh, this is this is the wrap up and the the action plan. That's great. So you are encouraging people to make a plan and uh, coaching them on it. Yeah. This, this guy's enjoying the Portuguese food here, and oh, and, yes, and, yes. and then Bob just wants him to have a selfie. I think is, is he talking <laughs> well, to us? Nice <laughs> is that a, is that a kebab? People. Are I know this couple, don't I? Yes, yes I do. Yes. yes. They're yeah. hilarious, aren't they? I yeah. can imagine how frank he was with you, asking him to take oh, a selfie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they're having a great time there, and lots of lovely street scenes, uh, people yeah. having a great time, al fresco, and that is day four then. So what happens on that final day? Well, wrap it up, basically. Yeah, we wrap it up. Uh, we'll feed them breakfast and see, depending on where they're going from here, we'll give them transportation to either back to the airport or to a bus or train station if that's the way they're going or to a rental car agency wherever they need to go and we'll see we'll wrap up any questions if there's something they were dying to see that we didn't get to we'll do that yeah. 
and they have the option of extending the stay if they want to. Oh, very good. Yeah. Which Definitely. I think is likely. That's likely, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> hard, hard to say, you know. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we're, we're not going to count our guests before they arrive. No, but... no. Yeah, <laughs> okay. well, I'd be very surprised if they don't want to hang out some more. Um, Antonio F hitting the like button. I think, you know, that's for you, for what you're doing here, which is fantastic. And one of the all important parts of the website, I noticed, is uh, being able to book a call. Uh, yes. and, and that people can do with you before they don't need to commit at that point. Do they can just have a chat with you and see what's what? <laughs> Yeah. Yes, the call is free. They can get more information, talk about pricing, all of that. We are going to have special introductory. Well, we do have special introductory pricing for the next uh, probably until December. So, all right. all right. Congratulations. It's been lovely, hasn't it, James, seeing this emerge? Absolutely. Um, yeah. It it's... took forever. <laughs> We're there now. No, it didn't. Well, that's, uh, that's my logical mind. My analytic yeah, one. It took a long time. Forever is a very long time. No, I understand the feeling. Yes, it, it felt like felt forever. Like forever. Yeah. It, it, it was a birth. Yes, I, I, it, yes, it was definitely a birth. Absolutely. Well, I think you're in that swaddling stage, nursing a little yes. infant in your arms, um, and um, I'm sure I'm looking forward to uh, hearing the feedback from the, from the first people, as I'm sure well, you are. We are 